Saturn is the sixth planet from the Sun and the second largest planet in our solar system. Saturn is mostly made up from helium and hydrogen. In October 15, 1997, NASA launched the Cassini-Huygens Space Research Mission in collaboration with the European Space Agency and the Italian Space Agency. It took seven years for it to reach the Saturn system. After entering the orbit in July 1, 2004, it spent 13 years orbiting Saturn and studying its ring system. Saturn's ring system can be categorized with a name or a letter. There is ring A, ring B, ring C until ring G. The separations between named rings are called divisions. For example, the Cassini division. Also, there are caps and ringlet. Saturn has 53 confirmed moons, but the popular ones are Enceladus. Enceladus is known for spewing icy particles into outer space and might contain liquid water. And there's Titan. Titan is known for having a thick atmosphere, rain, river, lake, or even a sea made from hydrocarbons such as methane and ethane. These are the short introduction I can come up with Saturn system. The killer gap is a 42 km wide gap in the A ring. The killer gap was discovered by Voyager and named in honor of the astronomer James Edward Killer. As it was observed, scientists noticed ripples along the edge of the killer gap. After further inspecting the ripples, scientists proposed the existence of a moon. On May 1, 2005, the Cassini orbiter discovered a widely elliptic shaped moon and called it as S-2005 S1. After that, the S-2005 S1 renamed as Daphnis. Daphnis is the name of a shepherd. Daphnis has a mean radius of 3.8 km, which means it's 457.2 times smaller than the Earth's moon and orbits 136,500 km from Saturn, completing one orbit in 14 hours. The moon has mostly smooth surfaces, few craters, and an equatorial ridge. The moon's surface gravity is 0 0.00036 meter per second squared. Thus, Daphne's escape velocity is a weak 6 km per hour which means if you run or jump around a velocity of 1.64 meters per second, you would literally escape Daphne's gravity. Despite of having a mass of 77 trillion kilograms and a volume of 230 kilometer cube, Daphne's has a density of 0.34 grams per cubic centimeter, which is far less than a gasoline. So theoretically, Daphne's would float on water just like an iceberg. Daphne's is a shepherd moon where shepherds the dust and the particles of the ring to clear the gap or to keep the particles within the ring. Other shepherd moons are Prometheus, Pan, Janus and Epimetheus. If you viewed Saturn from the North Pole, you would see Saturn rotating in a counterclockwise, as well as the rings, but the rings rotate at a different rate or a different velocity. The closer the rings are to the Saturn, the faster they would rotate. Every object has its own gravitational force. With the higher the mass, the higher the force. So when you put an object with a mass on the fabric of space, the fabric of space will bend according to the mass of the object. And the same thing is happening with the Daphnis. Daphnis orbits within the Killer gap in Saturn's string. As it orbits, it creates gravitational ripples on the edges of the cap as ring particles are attracted towards the moon and then fall back down towards the ring. The waves made by the moon in the inner edge of the gap precedes in the orbit, while those on the outer edge lags behind it due to the difference in their relative orbital speed. In a photograph taken on January 18, 2017, a tendril of ring particles can be seen extend towards the moon. According to the JPL, this may have resulted from a moment when Daphnis drew a packet of material out of the ring, and now that packet is spreading itself out. Moon's passage induces waves in the edges of the gap. This is also influenced by the slight orbital eccentricity. Daphnis eccentricity causes its 
distant from Saturn to vary by 9 kilometers, and its inclinations causes it to move up and down by 17 kilometers. Because of the orbit of Daphnis is slightly inclined to the ring plane, the waves have a vertical component reaching a distance of 1,500 meters above the plane. An equinox is an event where the sunlight would be normal on the equator, splitting the day and night evenly. As Saturn approaches its mid-August 2009 equinox, the vertical structures created by the tiny moon Daphnis cast long shadows across the rings. Daphnis itself can be seen casting a shadow onto the nearby ring. Shadows on the ring are only possible around the time of Saturn's equinox, which occurs every half Saturn years, equivalent to about 15 Earth years. The reason why I made a video about Daphnis was, I watched the video of Daphnis orbiting in the Keeler gap, and as it was orbiting, it created ripples. The moment I saw that video, I got curious. I looked up in Google, searched in NASA's website, then I got to learn about shepherd moons. It was amazing to see a tiny and a minuscule object next to a gassy giant that contribute to its system. Here are the marvelous imaging diary of Daphnis taken from Cassini. And that's all for today. I hope you learned about Daphnis through this video. And making educational videos is not easy as it seems. This is the hardest video that I have ever done since it requires a lot of research and fact checks. So subscribing to the channel would really motivate me to do a lot of videos in the future.
and don't forget to share this video and thanks for watching.